Hey everybody, Sean Ash here on this edition of 13 Weather Academy. We're going to talk about a couple of interesting weather, winter weather phenomena, at least for me, hopefully for you too. You know, it took a while uh, for us to build up a snowpack and we're going to be eating away at that snowpack rather quickly. Um, but sometimes when you get deep snow across central Indiana, and you get warmer air that flows over top of that, it can create a layer of clouds and sometimes a layer of fog. And how that works, so the ground gets really cold from the deep snow, and then the wind flowing over that can transport moist, warmer, moist air. And what will happen, the cold ground will cause that warmer air to cool down and condense into cloud droplets. Okay? Usually this takes place well above surface, but sometimes it can happen right on the surface. And as that cool air uh, cools down and saturates, you can get a layer of clouds and or fog. And sometimes that fog will freeze onto the cold ground and we can have something called freezing fog. Okay? Uh, and even when you get rid of the snowpack, you can still have this same type of phenomenon. Uh, that can occur here and it can cause some tricks to the forecast, make it difficult for us sometimes. Okay, so that's just one thing that can happen with snowpack. Uh, and speaking of snowpack, we can see that from visible satellite. So this is what it would look like in outer space. Uh, you see some of the, the clouds that are moving by, but you see the white that's on the ground here that's not moving. That's the snow that's on the ground. And then if you look over in Illinois, this is what this is bare ground. So they had snow earlier. It's now melted off. And if you look closely in central Indiana, parts of Illinois, these little vein-like features, those are rivers and streams that are being picked up that are cutting through the snow. Now, uh, as we get later in winter, and if you get, start to warm up, Lake Michigan here, a little feature that's kind of floating around, that was ice that was near the shore that started to get melted away and now the wind is blowing it around. It's almost like an ice island that's floating around here on the southern portion of Lake Michigan. This is not uncommon, but it is quite a feature. And it's being pushed around by a westerly wind. So eventually what will happen is that this, this big block of ice is going to smash into the shore here across southwestern lower Michigan uh, near the Warren Dune State Park in New Buffalo. And uh, when that happens, we will start to get some pictures of this ice kind of jamming over uh, the shoreline there. So this happens quite frequently in winter, and it certainly happens more frequently as we get closer to spring, and that's where we are heading, okay? We always talk about the reasons for the seasons. Remember that Earth is tilted on its axis at 23 and a half degrees. Because of that Earth tilt, that means we, at different points of the year, as the Earth is orbiting around the Sun, the Sun's angle hits the Earth at different angles, okay? We're entering, we're leaving winter, and we're entering spring, the vernal equinox. And that will occur on March 20th at 5.37 a.m. And on March 20th, we will have equal amount of day and darkness. Okay, similar to the fall equinox, except after March 20th, each day will progressively get more daylight until the summer solstice. So we are entering that phase. All right, we appreciate you logging on for 13 Weather Academy. Have a great day.